thought we did really well. I uh, had to deal with Almiron coming off real early, which was concerning. I still don't know update on that. I haven't checked my phone. But um, we looked okay without him, honestly, which I, which I thought was a huge test for us to see how we could uh, perform without our star player in there. And I thought we did we did enough today to you know get the points, and that's all that matters. So definitely the litmus test uh, with uh, Miggy out for sure. Uh, I was very impressed on how how we performed today without Almiron in. You know, uh, when he's in the game, he kind of is the go-to with our play production, and exactly. we go like a lot of our balls go through him technically. Exactly. And uh, to see how we play without him in there, and just to know that, you know, we have somebody to come off the bench and be ready in case that he's not ready to go or something's wrong, uh, it gives us relief to know that we have players to come out and right. have that capability to come off the bench and be ready for us. So, very happy with the performance today. Uh, yeah, and so you know, Assad. Uh, is the person we probably assumed to kind of step into the middle. We didn't actually see that. You know, we saw Gressel come on. Because, uh, yeah, Miggy keeps that, that possession going. He's able to drive into the box. Uh, how did we think Gressel did today with that? I'm honestly a huge fan of Gressel. Very, I'm a very big fan. I thought he did very well. That ball he sent in for the second goal is superb. Um, he just kind of has that uh, – he can track back, which I – I is necessary for me as a as a fan. I, you have to be a two-way player. Not saying that Assad doesn't do that, but I feel like uh, Assad gets a little cute sometimes, and um, yeah, he he'll elaborate on it. But um, we're okay on the wing. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. It's okay on the wing. And and uh, but I mean, all. All's well. I mean, I can't really complain about the performance. Uh, Gressel played well. If Almiron's out for a longer period of time, I would definitely like to see him fulfill that role. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, Gressel's playing for a roster spot. And uh, whether it be on Atlanta United or another MLS squad or you know, overseas, whatnot, I thought he performed well today. I like, I like, I like when players come off because you you get to see like a full like their full capabilities and what they can really do because they're trying to shine and they're gonna they're, you know sometimes they try and show a little too much but they're not afraid and Gressel was taking some rips out there I know Joe saw some rips that he was taking uh, really happy with his performance today I mean refer referencing Assad going back to what Joe said okay yes yeah, sometimes it's all right to do on the wing man but when you got to give up possession you got to give it up like I don't want to see like multiple multiple step overs when you got two three guys crowded on you. Get rid of the ball. Like, let's start something better to do rather than just trying to show off. Yeah. And uh, so Loretowitz gets on the score sheet finally. Yeah, which uh, nice little little body <laughs> body goal. Uh, let's let's talk about that goal. What you guys thought? I mean, it pretty much describes him to a T. I mean, he just put everything on the line, and uh, he got the end result. I mean, it wasn't pretty. He's not the sexiest person on the pitch. <laughs> But he gets it done. Like I love, I love Lorenowitz. I think honestly, he's my favorite player on the squad, uh, just because. He, There's so many to choose from. It's, it's so many to choose from. But Lorenowitz is just—he's a hard worker, a leader, and he—I—I I haven't, I can't name a performance this year where he really was like that guy where it was his fault. Yeah, where we couldn't like or, literally nick pit him. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we couldn't really point him out. I mean, there was that one header against Orlando. That's the one moment this entire season where I where I saw something wrong. So to have that consistency, leadership, it's just that goal is just a perfect representation of it's it's nice to see it happen for him because yeah. you know you see what he does for us on the pitch and Literally right right after he scored, he went straight to the crowd. You know, you see all the emotion he had. It's nice to see all the hard work pay off. I was very happy to see a goal from him. Great performance overall from Lorenzo today. Uh, you can see Yosef getting frustrated for, from not scoring. Uh, I mean, he had several great chances, but just unlucky, really, I think, today. I mean, uh, you know. You know what? They can't all go for you sometimes. You know, you're going to have your on and off days. I still thought he played he played a good game for the most part you know he he had a couple chances to where he he could have finished went unlucky couldn't really couldn't really finish uh that chip the one that uh went yeah went wide man I mean, we we were talking about it literally probably like five or six minutes before then when i think he was in a position to chip and he ended up shooting right at yeah, right right, all, right, uh -huh, right at the keep so i mean at the end he's still our leading goal scorer he's still yosef yeah, we right. still love him man he, he still provides something to where the other team has to know that he's on the field and they have to send attention his way. 
So you have your on and off days, man, but we still got to win. That's what's important. Right. He's got uh, – so we have fewer games for him to kind of catch David Villa. Yeah. Uh, still two goals behind. Uh, will he catch him? 3-0 uh, performance on uh, – what is it, Wednesday? Philly. Yeah, on Philly. 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 Hat trick. <laughs> hat trick for, for Yosef right. calling it. Okay. We're going we're gonna to come back on Wednesday and – we're gonna reference this point in the video. <laughs> um, back to what you we were talking about earlier with uh, Martinez. Uh, you could kind of, you could definitely tell body language wise um, he was frustrated and um, it it was interesting. I mean um, I had mixed feelings about it because uh, part of me is like you know pick your head up you know go get that next goal, right. but um, I mean I can understand it as well. I, I don't know uh, Wednesday's gonna be a big game. Um, he, cause he had the huge, I mean, huge confidence boost and I mean, no, no, I'm not saying that, you know, it, of course not every, there's no striker in the world. who's going to score every, every game. I was going to say, we were talking about it before the match, like Montreal put out a big lineup yeah. Yeah. and, and you look at, you can, you look at Martinez compared yeah. to all those guys. He's still jumping up, going for balls, still man winning those headers. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. for him to be probably, le he's probably shorter than me, I think. I think so. Right. Shorter than me, and to go up with those guys, man, I'm impressed. Yeah, just like back what I said, Wednesday's going to be interesting for me just to see how, how he bounces back because, I mean, it's easy to, uh, you know, being in a good mood and, you know, being, I mean, good chemistry when everything's going right, when you're banging goals left and right. Um, I just want to see what happens, you know, on Wednesday. I'm not saying anything's going to happen out of the ordinary, but maybe he can come back and score a few goals for us and, have a little fire, sometimes, fire in you. Yeah, sometimes you need a little negativity. Sometimes things can't always go your way. Sometimes, the, yeah, sometimes the negativity helps out a little bit. So I'm not saying it was a good thing to have it, but hey, maybe it'll help us later on come playoffs. I mean, at least it happened today. Yeah. Today's the day that we. Yeah, we want it to happen on a 2-0 day rather than an 0-2 yeah. day. Yeah, 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 definitely. definitely.